Hi guys, welcome back on my channel, Dorota Pańska, international new artist and educator here. And today we are going to do a very quick and easy design, which you can have a wee preview of it in here. So not over the top, nothing hard to create. And I hope you really enjoy watching this tutorial. If you're new in here, hit the subscribe button. Lots of tutorials in here, a few hundreds. And if you're existing subscriber, thank you so much, guys, for encouraging me to do more and more beautiful videos for you. Let's start. I got some chameleon pigments and I'm going to show you a beautiful design and uh, using uh, them. They are from the model ones. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing the brand name correctly, but I will give you the link in the description of the video. So the chameleon pigments looks best on the black and I'm using 183, which is a black ink from the upvoltage. Actually, it is a really fun design to do it. So first of all, we are just starting painting uh, the, the, the tips with the uh, black. And obviously I don't have to say it, this is my favorite black because it's always perfect in one coat, even if it's a really thin coat, because uh, that's what is important. Like you cannot apply black and really thick layer because if you do so, uh, then uh, your gel polish would wrinkle and then peel off from the nails. So you have to really always kind of press it pretty strong so the black is applied nice and thin. And obviously for uh, pigments, we want to apply it as smooth as possible, like watching for any dust particles, which I've got plenty. Because if you do encapsulate those dust particles, they will be really visible uh, when you apply the chrome. So I have just used the brush to clean any dust which might be on the tips. This is really important, especially when we're doing a client's nails. Uh, after filing, there is lots of dust which fly above the place which we have done the nails and then it can land on the nails. And then give it a cure. So after we have applied the black, we can apply the high shine no wipe top gel. And this is a top coat with no inhibition layer. So when we're working with the chameleon powders, we want to apply the top coat which uh, doesn't have inhibition layer. Okay, it has to be a dry top coat. So when you touch it, it doesn't have those sticky layer. The dry top coat, I'm always curing 60 seconds for the chromes to work really well. <laughs> Thanks, cameraman. Putting a light on for me. And again, I've got dust. yeah we could leave it but i really don't want to leave it guys i'm sorry and you know that we are not uh, cutting the videos we are kind of doing a real time uh, so i'm sorry for this but it is really important part for the nails to look nice so normally it is even recommended to and I try to do it this way in the salon. I've got a um, top coat which is only used for a chrome. So it is always brand new. There is no particles of the dust. So I would use different top coat to apply the chrome and then different top coat to put it on top of the chrome. 
just so the application is always perfect. Yeah, this top coat is just bin now. Or for the for the glitters would be good. There is too many bits and pieces there. And then give it a cure. Okay, we can now start applying the chrome. And we are going to do it in a kind of uh, ombre way. So I will use the pink one. So that's a B841. On the top part. And then on the bottom one, we are going to use the purple one-ish. Yeah, that's a blue. And just wrap this in. So this way we have created really beautiful ombre. I'm just removing the excess of the pigment. You can guys see it is really nice ombre. Okay, and now we are going to do the fun part with this nails. So let me chrome the other ones. Here, because I've got bigger nail, I'm going to use more colors. So we are going to use the pink one on the bottom. Yeah, so they're all different. Pink one on the bottom, again the blue one. I'm just doing it at the angle. Then this one has a hint of green in there. And then the green, the green. So what I'm doing is I'm just using the sponge which is provided to create this ombre effect. And then just with my finger I'm removing really the excess of the pigment just so we've got a nice mirror surface. And you can see it, this one, all different colors coming through it. Next one, let's do it a different way again. There we are, a nice dust particle. So I will show you guys how to fix it as well. So you can see it, how strongly the dust is showing up. Now, I think I'm going to use this one now. Yes, because this one has a green and uh, pink hint to it. Then the blue one. And then the green. I will show you what else you could create it as well. The green is here. And then just remove the excess of it. And you can see it how nicely they blend in like uh, the ombre ones. And the last one. So the last one. Let's go maybe green on the top again. So I've got green. Then after the green, the pure blue one. So that was this one. I will actually tell you the numbers as well. So the blue one is B861. The green one is B851. Then we've got the blue with the hint of pink, B822. 
Oh, that's a kind of, yeah, green with the hint of pink. And then this one is a pink one, so that is B841. Okay, so I can put the mess away. Again, wrap this pen. And on the places where we've got already the um, chrome, the other colors are not going to wrap in. So you can see it. it's a really beautiful uh, color combination. Okay, and then we can move on into a part where we create the design. So let me just clean all that. And my beautiful mules. There is tutorial on them as well. <laughs> okay, well, let's do the design. So I show you because I have um, done the farm, and I will show you two different ways. Uh, so this one is like a kind of uh, almost a unicorn style, but it's not a unicorn. It's just like a wee swirly, not swirly, even lines. Uh, I think it looks really interesting. Let me show you at the different angle as well. Wow, all these colors. Yeah, absolutely awesome. So I will show you this design on the pinky. All you have to do is uh, put a little bit of the top coat. So we've got the top coat there. And so just a summary as well. We've got the top coat, which we have covered the black with. So we don't have to worry about any more top coat, okay? So we have put black, then the top coat, then the chrome. And now we are working with the top coat. So with the top coat, I'm just going to do a very um, simple lines. Very simple lines. Obviously, the slower we will work, the nicer results we will get. So half of the tip, I'm painting the lines this way. And then the other half, I'm painting the opposite way. Slightly different than the unicorn design, but I think pretty nice and interesting too. Okay, so this way we've got the lines in two different directions, giving a very beautiful and interesting meal. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you, cameraman. Wow, this is beautiful. Okay, give it a cure. That's enough excitement. <laughs> and then on the next meals, we are going to do a different type of design, which is going to be fun too. So the chrome showing up the imperfection really strongly. So I'm not going to apply the top coat in there. I will just go and apply the top coat in the other parts. And what I'm doing is I'm just doing a patches. Uh, you could do small one, you could do large ones. Uh, of almost like even a snake skin pattern would be awesome too so whichever you prefer it's just a wee patches okay so another patch another patch make them really irregular like some make uh, some of them bigger, some of them smaller. How is it camera catching it? When I'm working with the top cuts or some kind of like designs where you cannot see the results uh, until it's finished, I'm always worried if you can guys see it clearly. Awesome. So we have created like almost, I don't know, dragon scales or that looks nice on its own as well. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is so beautiful. Even just like this. Now I'm going to have dilemma. <gasps> and or you could, yeah, you could make them almost like a mermaid uh, tile uh, scales as well with it. 
oh my goodness, I've got too many ideas now with this combination. I hope uh, it's inspired you as well to try different patterns. Like, yeah, absolutely. Okay, so now I'm going to try to go as a pattern as well. This is a big needle, so I'm going much smaller, but I will go as a pattern. Because this might be pretty interesting too. Okay, then leave the gap. Next one's in between. Leave the gap. It's just like a fun day, you know, guys, trying different things. And no, I didn't plan that. And Mm, you quite often ask me how I'm getting some ideas for the designs. This is how I'm getting the ideas for the design. I'm doing one design and then during uh, creating these designs, there is so many different ideas coming up to my head. Yeah, this is something uh, slightly different. Now I need to think what I want to do about it because uh, I will show you the final results of the other one. And then on this one, yeah, I need to think what I want to do about it as well. So let me put that on hold and I show you the pinky one because pinky one is finished. It's completely done. Okay. No, it's not done. We have to quickly apply the top coat as well all over it to protect our from. Sorry. You could also apply the top coat first and then do the design. Then it's more obvious. I'll have to do the summary for you of all this design. Okay, and then give it a cure. And this one is ready as well. Okay, so idea about this one is we've got the black top coat, chrome pigment, and then the top coat only in the dots places. So when I take it, the blue scrap, and I will rub it off. The chameleon powder is going to come off and we will get really beautiful, interesting design. So the black is going to show off because we are just wiping away the chrome pigment. And look how beautiful it is as well. So we've got all sorts of different patterns showing up with the black background and because we have done it ombre you can see it all these different colors coming through it there is a green blue pink really beautiful okay so that's one nil finished and i can put it it there now so on this one what we could do it if we will do it this way, we will have similar. Ah, let's cure it. Why not? And then on this one, I will go with the pattern exactly the same like this one because I really like it. I think it's really, really cool. Just because it's larger, it's showing up all these different colors. But you can do any pattern, like absolutely any pattern. You could do roses. I didn't want to show the roses because obviously we have used the roses for a pigment uh, tutorial. Um, I could do swirly parts. Honestly, anything, guys, which comes to your mind. Even animal print, like a zebra print, <gasps> or now very fashion is like on geometric lines. That would look awesome too, just like those kind of lines. If you try this design, just hashtag Dorota Palitska, I would like to see it, especially if you kind of came up with different uh, patterns. And uh, that would be absolutely awesome to see it, different type of patterns. Okay, give it a cure. Okay, 
Okay, and then the next one which is red is the one that we have done like an empty spaces as well and slightly smaller pattern. It doesn't go with the design, like uh, the set of the needles. Uh, but I wanted to show you just a different kind of ideas and different looks you could do it. Um, just so you, you can see as well. So that's a different pattern. I think the slide is so strong. Thanks. So we've got all different colors. This is only visible at a certain angle. So you can see it, guys, this one. It's a slightly different look, but uh, as I say, I wanted to really show you all different possibilities and the options. I'm actually not sure which one I like better. This one is quite nice because it's showing more colors. Uh, but yeah, this is in a pattern too. So just, just to keep that in your mind. Now we've got a pinky, which is ready as well. And I will do a quick summary for you. Um, so you are not confused. Okay, so we've got pinky, needle, and then this one just needs a couple seconds longer. That should be ready. So I'm just removing the pigment. Yeah, and I like the fact we have done slightly different colors as well. Um, I think this makes it, it look even more interesting. And you could do this pattern, you could also do this pattern with, um, sorry cameraman, sorry guys, <laughs> I want them nice. Uh, but yeah, I give you ideas as well for those of you who watch it till the end. So, we've got first type of the design, and uh, this is um, like a kind of unicorn style look. So that's a pinky and a thumbnail. And what you do is like uh, put the black from pigment top coat and then just a top coat pattern. And then those three, you do black top coat pigment, then the design, and then you remove the excess of the pigment. So the uh, design is only visible in the places where you have the top coat. But you could use the same technique uh, for applying like an um, gold chrome, or for applying um, rose gold uh, chrome, any other colors uh, in chrome, and then you could use even white background. So imagine white nails with a rose gold uh, pattern and roses shape, or or even those kind of um, like on a zebra print or anything, uh, just to give you an idea. Well, let me show you again the zoom and look of it. Oh, it never looks so nice in a camera as it does in real life. I will try to zoom it as much as I can to show you all the patterns. Anyway, I hope guys you have really enjoyed uh, watching this tutorial. If you did, give it a share so the others can see it as well. And if you try this design, just hashtag Dorota Pradicka. I'm looking forward to seeing your works. Glittery hack and bye for now.